Hey guys, May here, and the sun is going down because I took a break after filming my unboxings, but I wanted to do a couple more videos before the sun goes down, so hopefully I'll be able to do them. Um, otherwise, I'll just film tomorrow. But the first one I wanted to do was a little bit of a, I guess, a ranting video. Um, ugh. Infinite Effect tickets went on sale in the United States, and I got one. So I am going to Infinite Effect in New York on January 19th, I believe it is, and I'm so excited about it, and I'm really tired, that's why, like, and obviously I've had time to, like, get used to the idea, but, um, I'd never, I'd never bought a K-pop concert ticket before, and I was so scared going into it that I wasn't going to get it, because a lot of time I have, like, planned to go to concerts in the past, I planned to go to BTS's when they came, um, I've planned to go to Infinite when they came two years ago. So this is my first time going to a K-pop concert, actually, ever, and it's my first time going to any sort of concert in, like, six six or seven years, something like that. I think it's actually been a little longer than that now. Yeah, I am very excited. I'm going to Infinite Effect New York. Ah, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. And I, I really can't wait, and um, I got kind of the early entry um, standing tickets, so if you're in that section as well, I'll see you there. Um, and I don't know, I'm just really excited about it. I've never been to a concert before, and I feel like me not, because I have gotten some messages. Um, I've talked about it on Facebook, obviously, but I got some messages on um, like Instagram and other social media sites that I didn't talk about the concert at that I it, wondering if I was going or not, and I am going, so yay! I'm so excited. Um, I, it's so unreal, and I think that ever since I bought the ticket, just like seeing Infinite, because obviously they released their second Japanese album earlier this week, um, which I really like the song, uh, Can't Get Over You, but um, it's just, it's been so weird already because I'm, I'm going to see them, like live, in person, in less than a month like that's insane to me that's so soon i can't believe how soon that is it's actually my first day of um spring semester classes so i'm going to my first class of the day i'm skipping my other two and i'm getting on a bus and going straight there um to new york and i it's like so unreal i have my bus ticket i have my concert ticket i have everything and um it's it's amazing. It's an incredible feeling that I'm going to this concert, that I'm going to see them live after following them for five years. I just, I, can't, I honestly can't believe it. Well, other people have, you know, had their stories about it and, um, yeah, I, I don't even know what else to say about this video, but it's just so incredibly unreal to me still that I'm going and, um, I, there's no meetup or anything, which I wasn't really expecting there to be, um, and that's okay because I'll still be early entry and early access, so that's fine with me. Um, I kind of wish there was like a little meetup just so I could see the boys um, up close, but you know, this is better than nothing, so I don't know. I, I think that once I do see them live, it's going to affect me because I've just, I don't know, I'm just kind of seen people who go to concerts and then all of a sudden a song or one of the members like means something different to them than did before um and it's gonna be interesting to see kind of how i am after the concert obviously i'm gonna film a video about my thoughts of the concert and um hopefully because it's a different venue than the one they used in 2013 there aren't similar problems but i feel like uh, I don't know. <laughs> if you're going to the concert as well, let me know down below and what kind of ticket you got. Um, yeah, I think my biggest dilemma right now actually has been um, what I'm gonna wear to the concert because I have two biases and a lot of the a lot of the sweatshirts and a lot of the jackets and things you see people selling have one member on the back. So like, I don't know how I'm gonna represent both Wuyun and Sungyul. Part of me feels like I should just go representing Sungyul, but Wuyun's had a tough year and so I feel like, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't feel good about it either way. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to make a little video, a little before video, um, just saying that I am going to the concert. I am so excited, and I 
really can't wait and um, hopefully the track list is similar to what they've been doing at the other parts of the tour but I think it will be um, and yeah so <laughs> that's all I wanted to say just a little uh, that I'm going to the concert and that I'm super pumped and I've been a K-pop fan for six years now and I've never been to a concert and um, it's time it, it's definitely time and I'm glad that my first concert had is one of these guys because I it, that's like part of the reason that when BTS came I was like do I want to spend money on them though because I don't want my first K-pop concert to be somebody who's not my ultimate you know like I don't like I don't feel bad spending money on the most expensive tickets for Infinite. I wouldn't feel bad about it for Super Junior either. Yeah, when I actually finished like checking out and buying the tickets and everything, um, I was like shaking. <laughs> I was, it was so scary. I was, I just didn't think that I would get it. I was so nervous, it, oh. But afterwards I was like, there's literally nothing that can bring me down right now. <laughs> I'm so happy. So yeah, I guess that's all I wanted to say. Uh, let me know if you're going to the concert too. The sun's going down. Um, so this is probably the last video of the day, but um, I will see you guys very, very soon.